Hey guys, and welcome back to a week of Under Rail. Right, we're in the medical quarters. Let's talk to Pascual. Ah, hello, Obi Wan Kenobi. First of all, let me congratulate you on your admittance to a little station. I'm sure you'll love it here. Good day, anyway. It's good that you came. <laughs> hey, I actually wanted to talk to you about some of the results from all those tests we did earlier. Is there something wrong with me? No, no, quite the contrary. Sorry if I scared you. You see, the test results show that you have a certain amount of psionic potential. Certain number of midichlorians, may I add. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> the, the what? Okay, let me just tell you a bit about psionic potential first. It's a relatively rare, inheritable, complex genetic trait that triggers development of certain otherwise latent components in the brain. It allows a person to perform some subtle psionic invocations such as influencing the minds of others as well as some not so subtle ones such as causing radical temperature changes and telekinetic manipulations. So how do I realise this potential? You must first disable your psionic inhibitor. It's a neural structure in your brain that prevents you from accessing your psionic projection centres. We assume it was designed to prevent the infants from unwittingly harming themselves or those around them. There are ways to do this by extending meditation, but this can take years. We have more efficient methods nowadays. He reaches into his pocket and takes out a large red pill. This pill will take care of the inhibitor right away. There's one side effect I'm obliged to mention. The majority of users experience immediate and significant weakening of their immune systems. When I say majority, I mean everyone. Therefore, the choice is yours. Uh, just give me it. Oh, you force the large pill down for a while, nothing happens. Don't think it's working. Oh, we want Kenobi. Are you alright? Can you hear me? You're my only hope. Ah, good, you're awake. How are you feeling? Oh, my head hurts. What happened? Disabling the inhibitor seems to have caused a psionic surge. You're alright now. While you were there, I took the liberty of performing some more DNA testing to determine the actual levels of your midichlorians. They were off the scale! It was over 20,000! The inherent potential is there. You have to train your mind hard before you can really make any use of it. So do I start learning? You have to talk to those already adept at it and see if they'll teach you. We have two very good specialists in our station. There's one of them a small green man. Quentin! I, I, I shall call... Quentin, uh... Oh, what's his name? Fucking hell! Oh my god, I'm uh, terrible. I just watched the movies the other day. Fuck! Quick, 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 quick. Uh, fucking. Qui Gon! Alright! Fuck off, whatever. He's very versed in meta meta metathermics. Which is. Oh, that's the temperature one. No, I don't care about that. He used to be one of the Biocops researchers working on new applications of psionics. You'll find him at the agronomy level. Bison is a martial arts expert. He can teach you in psychokinetics and how to effectively use it in unarmed combat if that's something you're interested in. He's usually at the gymnasium across the hall. I think he's helping clear up the tunnels right now, so you'll find him at the station platform. Thought control discipline is considered by many to be nefarious. It's also the hardest to get really good at. I'm not sure who, can, who here can teach you it. I heard rumours that Ezra, the chief of engineering, is actually a very powerful mind controller. I don't know if that's true. I said she became the chief. Most people here, including me, know nothing about Ezra. So it might just be that some of them are making this stuff up. Anyway, I've got to get back to work now. If you've got more questions, come and see me. Quite... Quite gone. That is quite gone, isn't it? Hmm. God, I feel, I feel bad. I don't know this. Uh, let's just open this up. Oh, medical locker! This isn't taking. This isn't stealing. A medical locker actually had stuff in it. Begin psionic empathy. Right, close the door. Good man. No point being a dick about it. Beep beep. Uh, engineering cyber labs. I'll let talk to Ezra, see if we can see if she can build me up on controlling people's minds. Uh, okay, that'd just be stealing, so. No, we're not we're not down for that. Obi-Wan Kenobi is not down for the stealing. Hello? Harold, engineer. Harold, how do you must be the new guy? Name's Harold, I'm in charge of this little workshop here. Nice to meet you, Harold. I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi. So, are you looking for something specific? Or are you just looking around? Uh... 
Tara tells me in Norway there are still pillars to the outposts in the north. He nods. Right, I remember taking a look at the pillar generator there a while back. I couldn't do anything about it back then because I didn't have this. He rummages through the boxes that are on the table for producing something resembling an energy core. Here, it's a flux capacitor, I mean controller. If you insert it into the slot at the front of the pillar generator, it should get it running again. After that, you ought to be able to reactivate all the outposts. I'm afraid you'd, you'll have to do that manually though. You see, each of them has a switch that cuts off the power in case of a hazard. Got it, thanks. Well, that's pretty easy. It's nice that you didn't need to come with me or anything, it's just like, here, take this thing and stick it in the front of it. Hey, that's a sexy picture that they've got there. It's, that's ridiculous. Ezra, no, Gordon. Gordon, where's Ezra? We kinda got this men only thing going in this corner here. Oh, mate, am I not a man? Am I not a man? Am I actually not a man? Doesn't tell me. I don't know, did I not choose to be a man? I choose to be a man! Najet? Najit? Ezra! Why have you got things? Whoa! As he turns around to face you, you immediately notice there's something off with this man. I thought Ezra was a chick. His face is pale and hairless. He's missing one of his eyes and instead wires protrude from his eye socket, travelling over the side of his face and disappearing down the back of his neck. The other eye is almost colourless, the pupil so contracted that you question whether you can even see at all. He speaks with a calm and even voice. Hello Obi-Wan Kenobi, I'm Ezra. I act as the head network administrator and chief of the entire engineering sector. Uh, Hey, you're a powerful mind controller. Is this true? Ezra remains silent and just stares at you. If it's true, I'd like to learn from you. You just keep staring. Stare back at him. First nothing happens, and the two of you just stand there staring at each other. Your thoughts slowly start to drift away from what you were doing, and you almost didn't even notice that you were losing control of your own body. Continue. The world around you blurs away until only the only thing you can clearly see is Ezra's one eye staring at you. It seems as if it's not uh, it seems as if it's not looking at your face but through it into your mind. Well, try to wrestle back control of your body. You try to fight the intrusion, but Ezra's will is too strong. You stand there for a few moments held like a prisoner in your own body, and then the world disappears. Nice. I've been getting knocked the fuck out too often lately. Oh, you find yourself in a small aisle in the middle of a lake with no recollection of how you got here. Neural overload. Ow! What the shizzle was? I don't know how to do that. I just know how to punch. With not enough action points. Stop. Zapping me, yeah, douche nozzle. Stabbed. Yeah! First blood. Oh, not again. Oh! I'm back in my room. That was nice, I suppose. I like how I've actually been damaged, though. Like. <laughs> what the hell? I'm back down engineering. Ezra, that was rude. That was rude, mate. You don't just go out go around knocking out fucking your compatriots. It's ridiculous. I was going to say, do I get any experience? But you don't get experience killing stuff. Hello, Obi-Wan Kenobi. What did you do to me? Only what you wanted. Consider that first lesson free of charge. I want to learn more psi abilities. I can teach you how to short suck at the brains of others and still fear in them or break their minds. Oh, I, don't need, I want to learn how to break their minds. You're not ready for that. I want to learn how to scare them. You're not ready for that. Never mind. Fine, Ezra. I'll talk to you later, dick. Hey, Wayne. No, I don't care, Wayne. Legit. Alright. Right, let's check our notes. Southgate Station. Apparently, you need to click that button. Uh, retrieve the package from the barracks at SGS Station platform near the top. No, that's fine. I'm not going to the GMS com compound. Uh, reactivate. I'll get the the thing at the platform, but reactivate the power generator and retake the outposts. 
In the cave tunnels to the north are a total of five outposts, you need to activate at least three of them. Right, so do I need to go to the cave tunnel exit in the docks then? Possibly. Hello, sentry bot. Hey, Malcolm. Man greets you with a light smile. Ah, Obi-Wan Kenobi, good to finally meet you. I'm Malcolm, how can I help? I need to go into the caves. You didn't get your access card yet, right? Yeah, it should be around here somewhere. Starts looking through the drawers. Here it is. Gives me a red access card and passes, passes it to me. Now listen here, this procedure. When you want to leave, you let me know and I'll open the inner gate. Then you step into the transition room. Then I close the inner gate and open the outer gate and off you go. Right now, when you want to get back in, use the card I gave you in the, ca the console outside. Stand in front of the camera so I can confirm it's you. Then I'll open the outer gate. Earlier, you, we used to do bio scanning every time someone passed. But since no one ever showed up positive, it became a nuisance. What if I do contract the disease? They'd be kind enough to inform me so I can activate the turrets, they'll shred you to pieces, we'll burn the remains, and everything's good. He chuckles, just kidding. Or am I? Open up. <laughs> Open the fucking gates! Like three lockers there? Right, I did, it says go to the north. So I'm out here, and it is very Fallout 1. Let me just put that out there. Is there going to be a load of rats that I can stab? Hey, Jones. An old man wearing an old coat, old pants, old boots introduced himself with an, incred with an <laughs> incredible smile. An amiable smile. Oh, it's the young Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, young Obi-Wan Kenobi. Off to do some hunting. Uh, I hear you're very, very knowledgeable. Been crawling through the tunnels all my life. What do you want to know? Uh, what can you tell me about the outposts? The newest one is just north of the crossroad watch. They stretch to the east and to the west from there. They were built by Omega Station, but are somewhat in ruins since we put them out of business. Plenty of rat hounds there now. Oh, if you're heading there, could you do me a favour? I was scavenging near those outposts a while back, and I think I lost my old digital watch there. It's it about this big and made of metal. It doesn't have a strap, so I keep it in my pocket. It must have fallen out somewhere, could you keep an eye out for it? If you bring it back, I'll make you a good bargain for it. Metal detectors on, I'll have your watch back in no time. I'm not getting my hopes up, but good hunting. Uh, no man, I've got to talk about something else. Yeah, see you later, old geezer. Uh, no, I want to. There you go. Need to make sure that I'm closing my door. Ah! Need to make sure that I'm closing the doors behind me. Surprisingly, got a got a little fright there. The scream is for dramatic effect, just so you know. Uh, I'm going to guess that this is not- As you approach passage, you can hear faint squeaking sounds coming from up ahead. A pair of red beady eyes blinking in out of the darkness. Well, those red beady eyes are going to taste the, the sharp end of my steel hunting knife. Hiding shadows. Hiding shadows successful. Wow, that's the- What the hell are you? Oh, you're a rat hound. Oh, so you're the rat hound that I've been hearing so much about. Pack hunting. Ow, ow. Right, you buddy are getting stabbed and all. Got a kite. Basically, so he needs to use his. I don't know if it. There we go, get wrecked! Check your remains. Oh, a fancy rat hound here! This rat hound is sporting a small gold earring for some reason. Pick it up to study this out, we get experience. Oh, nice. It's an oddity. What is it? Or is it going to my oddities? Ah, oh, it goes into my oddities. Oh, okay, so it's uh, just by picking it up, it studies it. Gotcha! I would like my, my health hypo here. And I would like... Um, bandages here. Uh, 140 health points over 7 seconds. 
Yeah, could probably do with that then. What's that? 80 health points instantly. But obviously these can't be used in combat. That just fully focused makes them more effective in range cut. Oh, okay. How do I use this then? Uh Can't be used in combat, I'm not in combat. Right. You fucking use it then! I can use that. I don't know. Uh, was it tab? There it is. Adrenal gland. A skill biologist could extract a small amount of adrenaline. Alright, I'll take it anyway. Maybe I can sell it. I love just being able to hold tab and see what's going on. Well, let's check his locker, see if there's anything in it. Oh, nice. What's that? Border Guard's orders. Ah, nice and oddity. These old bloodstained orders were issued by the Omega Central Command to the Border Guards. The orders state that the guards are to shoot anyone perceived as an SGS member in sight. Also, a thousand Charon's bounties placed on one called Gorski. Oh, nice. And that's a uh, lockpick. That's cool. Uh, I pull, yeah, okay. Oh, sweet stuff. 5 mils, a side booster, 8.6 mil, and a poison bolt. I don't have any crossbows. I'm a stabber, not a fighter. A bear trap, nice. Some more bandages that I don't know how to use, and a throwing knife. Alright, so let's get outside, and I think... Well, this looks like one of those outposts that they were talking about. Yeah, apparently not. Stab him! Ow. Oh, there is two of them here. Great. Step back a ton. Oh, they can't actually get through there. Got you. Pretty cheesy because I can then... I can then hit it until I can't hit it anymore. Oh my god, I just want to punch this thing. No, I don't have the AP for it, and then just step back. Oh no, he can get through this time! No! There we go. Right, out of combat. Hey, we got another fancy ear. A healthy animal part. Nice. What's that? That's not an adrenal gland. So how how doth one? Panel your character's special attacks. Neural overload. That was pretty cool. Ah, so the smarter they are, the the more damage they take as well. Oh, that's nice. I would like to. No, not that. Um, F. I would like to have neural overload down here. Yeah, I don't know how to use these bandages though. Ah, whatever. Use it later, I suppose. There's some rocks there. I can only stab though. All I know is the stabbings. Now, let's see what's this way. Oh, there's another rat hound. I much prefer being second. Oh my god. 
At least that was just my movement allowance and not any of my, uh, my attacking allowance. Get wrecked, Eon the Rat Hound. Nice. Alright, well that's going to have to do us for this episode, so as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CG, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.